Again, going through free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, we completed the basic JavaScript course, and now we are on the ES6 course on challenge 10 of 29. So if you haven't seen or haven't gone through the basic JavaScript course, definitely complete that on your own and check out my channel for the full playlist of 113 different challenges and their solutions, and then come back to ES6 and um, yeah. So today we are going to use destructuring assignment to assign variables from objects. So in the last challenge, we destructured uh, objects to extract their values and now we're going to do the exact same thing but assign those values to variables okay so basically we have the same prompt here and it's essentially telling us here that if we have the same user object and we want to destructure this John Doe and this 34 value out of it so the name and the age value we can do it with this syntax and this username and user age here are the variable names that we want to create, right? So we can, if, for example, we want to access this John Doe name, we can access that if we destructure it in this manner, we can, de we can access that value under this username property, okay? We could just say user.name, but um, the whole point of this is to learn how to destructure. So we can create a new variable username or user age by destructuring it in this manner, right? So we destructure the name, the key of the value we want to destructure. So if we want to destructure the John Doe and get that value out of it, we grab the name because that's what its name, that's its key name. And then we, we give it a variable name to access. So username is how we would access the name property within the user object if we did it in this manner, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing with this high temperatures uh, example, high today and high tomorrow. We want these variables to be the today and tomorrow values, okay? So we're gonna use the same syntax here um, within this challenge, okay? So all we have to do here is say, we want to access the object. So in this case, high temperatures. So we can just say const and then curly braces equals high temperatures like that and now whatever we put in here will destructure out of it so now we want the today value and we want to assign that to the high today variable okay so today that value is going to be under the name high today and then we can separate these by a comma and we want to extract now the tomorrow so high tomorrow so we'll grab the tomorrow value and we'll give that to high tomorrow, okay? And that's all we have to do. Now we have access to high today and high tomorrow anywhere in the code and they will have the same values that are within higher temperatures because we destructured them into this high today and this high tomorrow variable. So we literally just took the values out of higher temperatures the tomorrow and the today value and assign them to high today and high tomorrow. That's all this code is doing. We can check this by saying console log. Uh, if we try today, so let's just say today, you can see today is not defined, but high today, oops, there we go. High today is 77. So that is correct. That is the today value today high today. So that's tied together under this variable name. Same thing if we say console log high tomorrow, we should see 80. And there we go. We have That's what we have. That's working. So this is destructured. Now we can just access the tomorrow and today values under their respective variable names that we gave them here. Hope that made sense. Hope that helped. If it did not, check out the last video. Uh, I did on destructuring assign uh, using destructuring assignment to extract variables. Now we are not just extracting, we are assigning to new variables as well. Okay. This is the same as if we had just said today tomorrow like this. Now we could access those values through the today and tomorrow variable. But in this example, we may not want to use today and tomorrow as the variable name. So we can simply do it like this. And now we have our own spe specific variable names that hold those same values. Okay. Hope that helped. See you guys in the next challenge.